Max, if I could start with you. I mean, what is it about Goldman Sachs? How does it manage to, to turn the figures around like that? Well, Goldman Sachs are scum. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, they basically have co-opted the uh, U.S. government. They've co-opted the Treasury Department, the Federal Reserve functionality. Uh, they've co-opted the Obama administration. Barack Obama, uh, you know, dances to Goldman Sachs' tune. And they are really crooked and abominable in what they've done. Uh, you just remember Hank Paulson held the Congress hostage, mm. took him in the back room and said, give us $700 billion. We're going to crash this market. He's an arsonist. He's, he's an outlaw. And yet He's given uh, praise. Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson, who was CEO at, uh, at uh, Goldman Sachs. Sure, but if you go down the list, they're all Goldman Sachs scum. Whether it's Hank Paulson, whether it's uh, Geithner has very close ties to Goldman Sachs, and of course, all these banking uh, bonuses are paid out to all their cronies who are Goldman Sachs scum. And America, for some reason, has allowed this coup d'etat to take place, a silent coup d'etat, where the Goldman Sachs and their friends now control the U.S. government, and I, they are I manipulating Prices. Okay. Goldman Sachs published a report a year and a half ago saying that the gold, uh, that the subprime problem was going to cost the world two thousand billion dollars. So Goldman Sachs was the only investment bank in the United States that didn't get into this game well, of take selling that my own yeah, of selling and <laughs> selling and, and buying empty boxes. Yes, uh, but they created many of these empty boxes. They then um, bet against their own clients to whom they sold these empty boxes. They coerced the federal government to get rid of their main competitors in Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns who were selling these empty boxes. They co-opted foreign banks who owned these empty boxes who went through tremendous pain and suffering. And uh, they were also now caught in front running every single trade on the New York Stock Exchange with this high frequency trading scandal. They're uh, literally stealing a hundred million dollars a day. Uh, Goldman yeah. Sachs is stealing every day on the floor of the exchange. They should be in the Hague. They should be uh, taken up on financial terrorism charges and they should all be thrown in jail. They're, they're scum. I Just like those bonuses on Goldman Sachs being paid this year, we're taken right out of the starving Americans' pockets. Mm -hmm. The homeless in America have the Goldman Sachs to thank for their homelessness and starvation right now. They took their money from their pockets, mm -hmm. and they put it in their uh, bonuses for this year. That's unconscionable. That's, that's, a, that's a financial terrorist crime. They, I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. They should be at the Hague. But, but Max, look at it the other way. What would be the consequences of letting all the banks and Goldman Sachs first go down? Remember, remember the uh, situation that happened after Lehman brothers went down. The effect is a very, very astounding effect. It was not only on Lehman Brothers, but it was on the confidence in the system globally. You're so are you ready? Stockholm Syndrome. You're a fall in love with your captors. <laughs> you believe that Charles Manson, who is Hank Paulson and Tim Geithner, is somehow got your best interest at heart. Well, well, let me tell you something. They don't. They are not they, exactly if my If you're on type. the floor bleeding, <laughs> that's what they live for. They're I not know. somebody you can let, let them fail. Of course you have to no. let them fail, because in capitalism, in American society, the losers have to fail to allow the people who are entrepreneurial and winners to take place. There's right. plenty of banks that right. could have taken these places, these right. other banks. You don't need to put shysters and charlatans on Wall Street who have uh, stealing with impunity and, and give them uh, a break. And they only paid 1% in taxes last year. But well, do different rules apply for Goldman Sachs? We were just talking about the fact that Hank Paulson was, was the CEO of Goldman Sachs, Robert Rubin, the same. Uh, yes, uh, and I would say even more than that, Hank Paulson, when he left Goldman Sachs, he left with a golden parachute of $500 million. Mm -hmm. Today he is making speeches so rules against apply? golden rules. Do what I do, but don't do, but I don't mean, do what I say, but don't do Goldman what I do. Sachs, so you can't have the bankers going to Congress and saying, we, for example, we can't audit the Fed, because if you audit the Fed, we're going to crash your system, we're holding you hostage. Absolutely. So you, can't, you, can't, you can't allow that. That's in, in the United States under the Constitution, that is a high crime and misdemeanor. That is actually treason, according to the U.S. Constitution, to have a U.S. Uh, representative say, we can't audit us because otherwise we're going to crash your system. What's that? How is that different than Osama bin Laden? Yeah, but, but listen, Max, this is not only about the Fed. This is about the Bank of England. This is about the Banque Centrale Européenne, European Central Bank, where you got the assets that have gone up, not uh, through sound instruments, but through the files that banks cannot recover anymore. Uh, oh, they you are, mean after uh, Building 7 uh, exploded yes. on 9-11? No, they really. can't get, they can't no, get the mean, records the, anymore? It's oh, the how whole, convenient. It's the whole well, Goldman Sachs are scum.